Hey everybody, it's Dr. O'Malley with the laceration course. Now let's talk about one that's a little bit more complex. This is the Y-shaped laceration. We've already talked about more of the V-shaped, but this is the Y-shape. So this is a wound that you may see from a patient who has uh, fallen. They've struck their forehead uh, on a step on the pavement. Maybe they've gotten struck in the head by some kind of a blunt object like a hammer or something like that. And what you see is almost, it's, it's more just like bursting of the tissue. And you get uh, some of these Y-shaped or stellate type lacerations. So how I wanna look at these is, what am I gonna be bringing together first? Now, if you start down here at this, at this end of the wound and you start repairing, um, if you miscalculate, you may end up getting tissue edges that are going to be a little bit um, uh, too long, too short, and um, you don't want to do that. So I think that the most important thing to do is to work on trying to close the apex here of this wound. This is the tricky area. And how we try to do this is by a single suture that you're going to be putting in. I'll put a little bit of a drawing in here. So what we want to do is come in on one side down through the tissue and then on this flap end you're going to be coming in the subcuticular or dermal area getting a big enough bite coming in on one side leaving on the other and then coming back through and up on this end and then tying the knot across here and that's going to bring everything together so with the single, I mean, this is almost like kind of like a modified horizontal mattress type of suture. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be doing. Just wanted to show that drawing there for you, okay? So with this, we're gonna take our suture material here, again, using good practice habits from the beginning. Try to manipulate the needle with your tissue forceps only, not to touch it with your fingers so that you avoid any accidental needle strikes or needle sticks. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is use my tissue forceps to get a good handle on the tissue, come through, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the needle All right. And then I'm going to reload it onto my needle driver. And this is where I want to be able to utilize my tissue forceps so that I can visualize this tissue here and see where I really want to go to be able to get the best, uh, the best repair. All right, so I'm going to go on this side here, kind of in the dermal area. And then I'm going to come through onto the other side. All right, grab the needle with my needle driver here. Let me go ahead and just grab it. Pull it through. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to reload my needle driver. Okay. And then I'm going to use my tissue forceps. Come through and through. Try to strive for symmetry here. Okay. All right, so what have I got? Well, this is kind of like your horizontal mattress sutures. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is do my instrument throw two loops pull across okay see what that does it brings it all together so with a single suture you're able to bring the edges together and then let's see how this does yeah just with the uh, the product with the silicone kits it is a little bit more difficult but i'm going to try to bring this together here okay um that may not work but 
that's essentially what you're trying to do, okay, is bring everything together into using my, utilizing this uh, kind of like a modified uh, mattress suture, and that's gonna bring everything together. You tie that off, and then you can start going into the other ends of the laceration and putting those together. Uh, if there's a lot of tension, you may wanna utilize some horizontal mattress sutures. If there's not much tension or if it's a very short, uh, short length, then you can just use some interrupted sutures there. So that's how I approach these Y-shaped stellate type lacerations that may have a, uh, a lot of tension is the modified uh, horizontal mattress suture. And then when you want to, you know, when it's time to remove these, come close to your knot, tie, and pull. Thank you. See you next time.